Am I the asshole? For being resentful of my husband's reflexive anger during newborn nighttime pumping feeds? My husband and I have a three weeks old newborn. My milk supply has been low so I've been pumping every two three hours. The arrangement my husband and I agreed to was that he I would both wake up for the first feeding pump session, where he would go feed the baby a bottle and I would focus on pumping. The issue is that my husband has insomnia can't fall asleep easily. To mitigate this, I'll wear sleep headphones will listen for the baby's cries when he's hungry my husband's ask is for me to wake him up when this occurs, so that he can help and I can focus on pumping. However, when I do gently wake up my husband at the time that he asks me to, it's like a knee-jerk reaction for him to be angry. He'll jerk, complain loudly that he just fell asleep minutes ago, slap the bed with his fist or open hand in anger, then stomp off to tend to the baby. After which, he'll cool off, start singing put on his cute voice with the baby, otherwise be okay. Meanwhile, I'm left feeling horrible, feeling guilty for waking him up, to the point where I don't want to wake him up because I'd rather just take care of everything myself than deal with him being pissy. Last night, I told him how these outbursts make me feel. That I'm afraid to wake him up because of them. His response was that this reaction is a reflex, no different to how a knee pops up when struck with a hammer, that I need to just accept that this response is an inevitability. Well, it's 2 a.m. now. I wake him up, he does his same angry song and dance, and I go to pump. After he gets over his burst, he comes out being positive happy trying to lightly joke about how this really pissed me off and that I really couldn't get over it. Admittedly, I tell him passive-aggressively that I'm over it, but maintain a shortness with him. He gets angry again, stating that of course, between the two of us, he's the one who can't sleep but I'm the one who's entitled to wear the angry bitch face. He takes the baby to the bedroom and slams the door. After he's done feeding the baby, I tell him that I'm going to sleep outside for the night and he asks me again to wake him up when the baby wakes up. He adds, verbatim. Can you just ignore my being mad for the first 15 seconds after you wake me up? I've done a good job here, and I feel like I'm owed that. I need you to be a big girl. I feel resentful of the fact that the burden is on me to get over his outbursts. However, I do also recognize that his bursts are short-lived, and that he is waking up to help me during an otherwise difficult time where both of us aren't getting sleep. He does do a great job of supporting us and my emotional well-being during the rest of the day, so I may be the asshole for harboring this resentment. I need some outside perspective on whether he has a point and if I should extend him owed grace for this issue. Not the asshole. I need you to be a big girl. Trying to comprehend right now what would happen, if I got the idea to tell this to my girlfriend, when we are discussing a serious problem. How about being a big boy and learning some minimal level of self-control? Anger management issues are not an immutable trait, they can be worked on. I'm going not the asshole here. Stop waking him up. The stress his anger even though it is involuntary is causing you is damaging. Tell him that he doesn't get to tell you to be a big girl when you are the one having to deal with his outbursts. You are sleep deprived and emotional for a very valid reason. This is making things worse for you. There are so many ways he can help this way is not working for you and your emotional well-being. Not the asshole. I reckon that his anger and the way it makes you feel might also affect your ability to feed baby or express. Not the asshole Hubs needs to work on his waking up mantra, otherwise he is going to leave you with PTSD. What is his reaction to the alarm clock going off in the morning to get up to go to work? Be a big girl? Has he considered being a big boy and stopping his little tantrums? You have a newborn. Sleep will suck. Getting pissy is not benefiting anyone. Not the asshole, but those are fighting words to me. Have a tantrum and then tell me to be a big girl and get over it? Ain't no fucking way. Not the asshole. What happens if in a few years he falls asleep on the couch? And your child accidentally wakes him up? 
Would it still be an involuntary reaction if your husband shouted or hit things in front of your child and scared them? Or hit your child instead since he's admitted he can't control his angry outbursts? Honestly, I would stop waking him up. He doesn't get to gaslight and belittle you. He wants recognition for doing a good job when he can't even do it without being an angry abusive little boy. I need you to be a big girl. If I got so infuriated reading this, acting like you're the problem not him. I don't know how you kept your cool in that moment. Not the asshole. I think he needs to be a big boy and stop being an immature aggressive prick tbh. Why should you have to put up with that? Hell no. Not the asshole. Edit spelling. I will tend to the baby at night because I refuse to be treated like this and you refuse to do anything about it. I hope you understand this behavior is going to have a permanent effect on our marriage. I don't treat you this way, and I resent that you think I'm supposed to allow you to. Not the asshole. Every time he wakes up angry scream fuck you in his face. It's okay because you're doing it reflexively. Not the asshole. His behavior is disgusting. Your husband a good person. Not the asshole. He'll jerk, complain loudly that he just fell asleep minutes ago, slap the bed with his fist or open hand in anger, then stomp off to tend to the baby. Ask him if he's planning on doing this when his scared little child wakes him up because of a nightmare. And how you feel about him doing that to your children. Info. Grandma here. Not the asshole. Who nursed all three of her children. The stress is affecting your production. Full stop. If you have to, supplement one and only one feeding with a little formula so he can feed baby but in any case I would let your husband the big baby sleep till you get your milk established. No it's not fair but what he is doing is worse. If he is truly helpful during the day maybe guilt will make him realize what a butthead he is being to you now. I need you to be a big girl. Hell no, op. Not the asshole. Your husband can't emotionally regulate himself and is acting like you are the one with the problem. He adds, verbatim, can you just ignore my being mad for the first 15 seconds after you wake me up? I've done a good job here, and I feel like I'm owed that. I need you to be a big girl. Just what the fuck? Darling, I left time and I truly love recently, because of issues like this. He once told me that his worst fear was my kids his stepkids seeing his temper. I asked him why he was okay with me seeing so damn much of it. That one little statement was probably the beginning of the end for me. It started to feel like I was nothing more than his emotional dumpster, and damn it, I'm more than that. And you are too. Your child deserves better, but so do you. Not the asshole. I have insomnia and take sleeping medication. I still don't act like an asshole if I get woken up. It's uncalled for. If he thinks you should be a big girl, maybe he should be a big boy and not act like a fucking teenager being woken up for school. Man, if my husband told me to be a big girl he'd be sleeping somewhere else. So disrespectful.